All right, so we're actually in this f playing this freaking game right now. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm Barges. Welcome back. I'm welcome back. Welcome to Dark Souls. Prepare to die edition. Literally, because as you may know, I'm not. I've never really played Dark Souls, any Dark Souls or any Souls games, as much as an average person would do. And I figured out, you know what, I got this game already, so why not record it? I did play it, but I did delete the character afterwards. Um, from, I got a bit of experience of, because of watching a bunch of YouTubers, especially uh, SSOHPKC, which fortunately came back. But I don't know if it's going to be that focus on YouTube again. But other than that, let's begin our character creation. Um, maximum... Brightness, of course. Uh, all this mujol mujol should go away. And a lot of you are probably thinking, "No, oh, wait. Right, let me tell my name because I know what my name is." Um, a lot of people are probably wondering, "What do I actually do in this game?" Um, none other than raging, of course. Um, I've heard that God is blessing, uh, or actually, my, my, yeah. You know what? I got this. Uh, character creation. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. Spend too much time here because I got shaved. I, I, I like skinheads more, and it's not that it's, it's not like it matters anyway because we're gonna wear armor nonetheless. Oh, uh, here's a cutscene. In the age. Well, gotta skip it anyways because it is not the first time that the that a person like me records Dark Souls. I mean, like it's probably one of the thousands or maybe millions yes, that just started. Indeed. So. Alright, got that. Got all the useless bull crap. Doesn't mean anything anymore because everyone has been recording it, or most of the YouTubers have been recording it. So, yeah, I, I don't find it interesting in any ways to record a cutscene. But especially for the later cutscenes, of course, um, they would. Pr I would probably have to record them because, of course, um, I got that. Um, I thought he was dead. All right. So, I did play the game, so don't like, really expect me to be stupid or any sort, because, well, I am. Well, a lot of people say that, hey, is this game really good for your health? Be you know, like people, like, you know, physical friends, you know, friends in real life. It's, it's not like I don't have friends. Of course I do. Um, <clears throat> so, I was asking for suggestions and of what I should record, of games that I really like. And they said one of them suggested Dark Souls, and after I got the suggestion, I was in my mind is kind of I was kind of thinking from watching other YouTubers, would this game be good for my health? Because as far as experience goes, it's not as great as or as far as as experienced by by watching other other dudes do it doesn't seem that great at all and yeah it may seem like I'm speed running right now but no all right come on come on come on come on holy crap I'm holy I right, got that equip this it may seem like I'm kind of fluid with the freaking controls but to be honest I'm not that fluent yet so yeah where the hell you think you're going, huh? Where the hell you think you're going? I'm not gonna go anywhere. Oh, he has a lot of armor, so... Alright. Equip the longsword now. Alright, got you down. Oh, damn, I didn't equip the longsword? What the hell? Alright, there you go, that's a longsword. I don't know, what the hell happened there? Alright, one shot your face. <coughs> Alright. So, what actually motivated me to record this freaking game? Um, I would say SSOH. I actually just started watching it again. Um, the first Dark Souls game, of course. And it it kind of motivates me to play it again because... I just really want to experience the game as much as I can. Although, it may not be as great. Um, yes, I know, Boulder. You're going to fall down on me. And I'm not going to let you do so. Even though I may be fluent on this freaking... In this freaking stage, blah 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 blah. There you go, Estus flask. 
Yeah, I'm dead good. asylum freaking thing. I don't know what it's called anymore. So, I have actually restarted the... So, after watching uh, Seamus' stuff, I played the game by myself and restart a couple of times because it's kind of stupid on, on the way that's on the ways that I've died first of all <clears throat> first of all I died from from armorless or un unequipped zombies with no freaking weapon in any sort or maybe they have weapon but they're just they just only had skin in them and it's kind of stupid in a, in a way or so all right got you I got something for you, you got something for me, but I also got something for you. I there you go. Right there you go. Now you're dead. Um Alright, got that. Oh that missed. Miserably. Alright. Oh god, the backstab didn't work properly. Oh, you healing, eh? I won't let you because, yeah, f you. That's why. All right, let me use my Estus flask right here because I may be dying. Find the freaking asylum demon right here, in which I would not appreciate whatsoever. All right, there you go. I did it this time because the first, the first time I played this game, I did not do it. So it's really disappointing to see me not even able to do the, the jump attack. Oh damn, that almost. Oh uh, hell no! And that's the first time I've seen you do that to me. I mean, I've seen people had that on them, but to me, it's a no. Holy crap! That was well, it did hit me. Holy crap! That would have killed me. Oh god! Oh Jesus Cristo! Please save me right now, because I would be. Very dead. Alright. Now I can heal up. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Are you serious? Normally you would be dead right now. Alright, got that. Got to heal right now. Alright, I dodged that time. Alright. You did not... Oh, is he dead? He got a sliver of health now. And he won't even let me attack him. Stab for the last time. There you go. Finally got you. Damn it, big pilgrim key. I don't know what the hell your name is anymore. I don't even care. Because you're a freaking a-hole. You were never this much of a douchebag. You were never, he was never like that. Except for the time I freaking failed the jump attack, which was pretty miserable. It's kind of embarrassing at the same time, but that was also the time that I didn't have a, a suitable control, so I was, using a I was using a mouse and keyboard, which is not recommended after all, but because the mouse, you can see the mouse cursor, um, camera is stupid, and the controls are really out of bounds, which is not even controllable. But anyways, I got a freaking controller that acts like a 360, even though it's not a 360 controller. Alright, I've seen this multiple times from, and you you guys probably seen it multiple times from gameplays and all and that sort. But other than that, let's actually try to level up here. I'm trying to go for a freaking, um, what's it called? Yeah, let's get that and get this, because why the hell should we not? Um, got that, this guy's gonna be talking crap. All right, there you go. Um, skip a whole bunch of monologue and dialogues, whatever. Um, I tried going down here. It didn't really go well because I'm a dumbass, that's for sure. And yeah, I mean, like, there's, there's stupid things out there. I died from the freaking big guy that just attacked me and just keeps shouting nonsense. I don't know what he was trying to say, but he just shouted, well, nonsense at me. It's like a freaking big guy holding a freaking big uh, clave. Like, not clay, a club or something in, in, in some sort. But anyways, we gotta talk to this guy, join his freaking thing, because, yeah. Alright, got copper coin right now. Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? Very well. Alright. Oh. That is a shame. 
Put each down, each down. To their own. All right. I might have a change of parts pretty damn soon, but and by pretty damn soon I mean after I break all of these pots, which I don't know if I can break them because yeah, there you go. I don't know how rolling actually breaks freaking damn pots. I don't know how I have it, if I even had a covenant or covenant covenant. I call it. I say covenant. <coughs> Most people say covenant. I say covenant because. Come again. Yeah, I'll come again. I don't know when though, but I might come again. I don't know if it's a freaking item or a freaking skill that would bring me back to. <clears throat> to older uh, bonfires and, and that sort. So a lot of people are. or a lot of my friends actually. are probably wondering will I play Dark Souls 2 before Dark Souls 3 comes out? My answer is yes, but but also I might regret it because first of all, from ex from playing this game, it's not easy. All right, it's not easy. This game is just stupidly hard. And all right, there you go. You got a short sword off of that, which I don't really need anyways. But eh, whatever. All right. All right, get a back step. Shh. Almost hit me, eh? Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill the fuck down. Nope. 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 There you go. Got that. All right, let's try to fall down here because I may think I don't know if it's worth it or not. I'm trying to get the ring of sacrifice. You know, let's just, let, let's, let's just try to get the ring of sacrifice by jumping because I don't want any damage of any sort. I'm afraid if I take damage, my character will act stupid and just like so stupidly jump back or do a back step like that while he, after he gets damaged and then die. Even though I don't have that much souls, it's still. I will consider not dying on, uh, right now because it's just the first freaking 12 minutes I've just recorded this freaking thing. Um. Alright, I got the Ring of Sacrifice, which is pretty damn cool. Now, the problem is, I'm not really good at going back now. Because, unless I'm at the right angle. Woo! Alright, there you go, and finally got it. I finally got it. For the first time in my entire freaking life, of playing this freaking game and this freaking whole... The whole freaking franchise. So, yeah. Mmm. Mmm, what? Oh, I didn't actually notice that. Or maybe I did. I just ignored it. Maybe I did. And I just ignored it. So I'm not going to be using any bonfire stuff as of yet. I'm going to be using it once I reach the next bonfire. Which may be a bit wild. And and also to, to tell you that while I was actually testing the game out. Damn, the graphics looks good when it's near. But it looks crappy because look, it's really... Oh, yeah, it's an old game anyways. What can you do about it? So, yeah, I, I've, I've, I've found all the secret passage to get some quote-unquote secret items. So I don't know if they're secret after all. But right, there you go, got that. Alright, alright, there you go. I like the freaking heavy staff because, yeah, they're kind of worth it. There you go. I'm pretty sure there's a guy. Oh, dude. There's a guy inside the freaking building beside this guy. Waiting for me to.